name is Glenn Dunker and um, I am now in my uh, balcony, in my apartment's balcony in Bucharest, Romania. Um, what you've just seen was me opening a parcel which I received on First of April, first of April this year, and I haven't um, opened it until today uh, because the parcel contains uh, two editions of a, of a work of mine, which were made in a foundry in a different city in Romania, and uh, they are, as you can see them. Uh, these little pieces, um, but they belong to, um, they belong in a bigger installation, a different presentation, which involves a kind of vitrine. Um, uh, and this vitrine I was supposed to make in uh, in these past two months, uh, especially for for these works. This work is called uh, Original Adidas and uh, what I have here is uh, uh, the newest version of, uh, of an older work which I made in 2003. Um, this time I uh, decided to make this work in a non-perishable version so these are made in bronze. It's, uh, it's a cast of real pork feet, uh, which was later on made in bronze. Um, the work from 2003 uh, refers to the recent past uh, of Romania, which is not so recent anymore. Uh, um, it refers to 1980s Romania, where uh, food was something really scarce, people couldn't find uh, 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 almost nothing in the shops, but uh, of course food was one of the biggest problems. And uh, one of the few things that you could actually find was this uh, uh, pork legs uh, or pork feet. Uh, so people started calling this uh, Adidas. Adidas being the Romanian name for uh, sport shoes. Uh, just like you use Xerox for photocopy and Kleenex for tissues, etc. etc. So people were calling this Adidas, of course, in humor, and this was a way to kind of uh, deal with the, with the problems that they had back then. And for other things that you could find in the shops, uh, which was pork heads, they used to call them uh, calculators, and um, chicken claws, which used to be called cutlery. So I made this work in 2003, and 2003 was already uh, 14 years after uh, the Romanian Revolution, and it was already a period where kind of uh, uh, there was more abundance in the shops, of course, and the society was starting to enjoy more and more this kind of uh, 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 joyride of uh, extreme consumption. And so I call this uh, work Original Adidas to sort of uh, remind people of uh, the Adidas uh, uh, that they could find in the 80s in, uh, in Romania, as opposed to Adidas as a, as a brand that can sort of underline this consumption society. And, uh, well, as I said, in 2003 I made this work originally as, a, as a, with real pork feet, and later on I, uh, I, uh, it became a work, a photographic work, and, but since then I always wanted to make like a non-perishable version. So late last year I made uh, this original Adidas in bronze. Uh, 
which kind of has these uh, golden stripes, uh, which make you also think of the this uh, trophy that people get in in football, uh, which is the golden boot for the best footballer of the year or whatever. And um, as I said, uh, I received this parcel a month ago, uh, actually one and a half months ago. And I received it at home because uh, I couldn't go to the studio anymore. We were uh, in a, an extreme lockdown in Bucharest and it would have been really risky for me to go to the studio in the sense that I could have been fined. Uh, quite a large uh, sum of money, so uh, I decided to stay at home and I haven't even touched this parcel until today. And today is the first day of what we call relaxation of uh, extreme measures. Uh, and finally I can go to the studio, I'm allowed to do this. Um, and of course taking all the uh, measures and being careful with how I get there, etc. etc. So I didn't go out as much, uh, apart from going to buy groceries. Um, I went out uh, like five times just to do this sort of uh, um, physical uh, or sports uh, that everyone was still allowed to do. Uh, this was of course uh, uh, quite tough and it affected, it affected me in many ways, but at the same time uh, knowing uh, or learning how extreme the measures were in places like China or Spain, uh, I still consider myself to to be quite lucky. And um, uh, yeah, but it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Uh, uh, it, this time really hasn't been very fruitful for me. I have to be honest. Uh, it wasn't a time where I could. Uh, let my mind go wild and think of uh, new works and uh, do any kind of uh, uh, serious work, let's say. Uh, I couldn't really focus, I couldn't concentrate on doing even simple uh, uh, things like uh, writing an email. Um, let's say that the, the, the anything further than reading or, or, or uh, just browsing, whether it's browsing the internet or browsing uh, uh, my library. Uh, that was like the, the, the easiest ta task or the, the only tasks that I could, that I could do in, a, in an intellectual way, let's say. Um, but as the date was getting closer to the relaxation of these measures, let's say things have become easier and uh, uh, I, I, uh, I was starting to feel better myself, so uh, yeah, things got better and I'm hoping that they will get even better from, from this day on. Um, what I did do actually, and one of the few things that also helped me um, in this period was uh, to kind of uh, approach things with a little bit of humor. Uh, in a similar manner to what people were doing in the 1980s. And let's say what were the, the, the resistance jokes from the 1980s uh, in Romania have become now the humor which is uh, everywhere throughout the world, which is the memes. So um, I tried my hand at making memes um, and I did it so uh, by, by uh, playing with uh, uh, classical art with paintings mostly uh, and basically I was I was browsing through Instagram accounts of uh, classical art and uh, forwarded I forwarded these images to my to my Instagram stories and I added text to them and uh, that's transformed that thing into memes. So I use my Instagram account as a as a tool for making memes, part of them for my friends, part of them uh, uh, in general, dealing with, with this kind of whole situation that the world is in uh, with the pandemic. And it's been fun for a while. I, I, I was quite uh, uh, 
fruitful for 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 a few days, and then you kind of uh, uh, you can you can make only so many jokes about toilet paper, and you can make only so many jokes about being stuck inside. So, uh, but for a while, I I enjoy uh, I enjoyed uh, doing this, and I hope other people do too. I think for the art world is actually not such a bad thing what is happening right now. For me personally, the idea of having a break from everything, uh, of uh, having more time to to think about things, to create or at a different pace, at a, in a slower pace, is actually. Uh, a positive thing. It's something that I, I, uh, I've enjoyed before. Uh, I did something which was, which is unimaginable for, uh, for uh, the art world, which is to have a break of three years between two solo shows. Uh, but I have to say that after this break of three years, I feel that I did my best, my best uh, exhibition so far, and. I think having more time, having this break is actually really beneficial because creating at a speed uh, which is imposed by trends from fast fashion, I don't think it's a good thing. It's, it's, if, if you have five socials a year, what are you going to do? You, you can't really uh, do much more than create as in a factory and I don't, I don't really believe in, in this, this kind of system. Uh, it's, it's something that I could never do, it's something that I would never enjoy doing um, and I, I feel sorry for people who have to be put in this kind of position. Of course, when you have to produce this much, you work differently, you have a studio, you have uh, tens of assistants and you have a, a, a whole system around you that, that uh, uh, kind of works for your brand as an artist but I think that it's not something that I necessarily envy or that I think it would, it would work for me. Uh, otherwise in, in the break I think it's also good for, for the galleries which were, you know, galleries were pushed to make uh, Eight to ten exhibitions a year. There are galleries that have uh, that are uh, in different places in the in the same uh, at the same time. So they have to have this program everywhere, like in two, three, four corners of the world. Uh, they have to jump from plane to plane, art fair to art fair. There are art fairs in Europe at the same time uh, in different cities. It's, 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 it was a crazy world and it's, uh, it just takes so many resources uh, in uh, uh, physical, intellectual, creative uh, and of course this overall uh, means uh, uh, a huge impact on the environment. The first thing that I'm going to do after this uh, steam lockdown is over uh, I think I'm gonna walk. This is something. The walking was the only physical uh, thing that I used to do before. I wasn't really doing that much sport, so the only physical activity was walking. And I think that what I'm gonna do is walk, walk as much as I can, um, and go to the studio and spend time there. I don't make up for all the time that I couldn't be there, and um, walk some more. Um, my message for everyone is uh, take this seriously, this is really terrible, uh, I think we are very lucky that, that uh, some of us managed or most of us managed to go through this period without suffering and I feel for all the people that lost loved ones. Uh, this is a terrible disease and I hope it will become more clear if this is a respiratory disease or a, or a blood disease and I think that some kind of cure vaccine, some kind of uh, 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 
a medical uh, uh, way of, of dealing with this will, will be available uh, to us soon. And uh, I also hope, uh, like I said before, that this is a good opportunity for us to rethink uh, our relationship to the planet. And uh, yeah, I, until we find this, this cure or a vaccine, stay home and do, do things uh, as much as you can from home and, and uh, yeah, listen to the science, don't listen to the politicians. <laughs>